Okay, so we're back to assembling the second part of the Civil War camp chair. This is the uh, part we already assembled, the back and legs. Okay, so to do the second part of it, uh, we're going to place a spacer in the middle here. This is a half inch piece of plywood scrap, about 16 and a quarter inches wide that allows it to sit in between the legs. And the reason for this, and you can use any spacer you want to, it's fine, is so that we can rest this piece in here like this and this piece in here like this okay this is this is our small leg pieces with a little funny angle going downward okay like that and now we can assemble this unit in the actual piece it goes into that means it, that'll make it so it for sure fits inside of itself okay so i'm drilling these out just one hole in each to start with Okay. And screwing that down the same way I did the other side, the other piece. Now you want to make sure these pieces in the middle are in there. Not don't be super tight but not super loose either. They want to be just in a nice look this so this piece can slide in and out after you build it, okay? So now we're gonna use a spacer again, like we did before. Hold it about even. One screw in each of these. So you should have one extra piece for a spacer in your collection. And you're working your way down. Okay, I've got six one and a quarter inch parts and the two inch part on the end. I'm going to do the same thing I did on the other one. I'm going to measure across the corners to make sure I'm square. So I've got 35 and 7 16 35 and a little shy. If I just squeeze a little tiny bit on the corners, I can make it match. So that's 35 and 3 8 shy. Good. Okay, so I'm good right now for square, meaning 90 and 90. When I'm square like that, I can go ahead and set the last two screws in the front piece. Drill them. And set the last two screws in the front piece. And that'll keep my piece square. Okay? And then the last thing I need to do after this, I can remove this whole part now. This is done, okay? That's my, that's my seat part. I can remove that. And we're gonna screw in, now we're gonna screw in the last two inch piece on the back that we marked for here. It's a two inch shallow drill hole. We're covering up the X. Okay, I got an update on the chair here. Uh, because I made these parts here narrower than usual, it didn't sit quite right, so I readjusted the one dimension on this back one. In the, in the video, it shows it at 10 and a half up. 
I changed it to 11 inches up from the point. And we can go ahead and put all four screws into this one because the, the cap B, it's already square. So we'll put our four screws into that. What these two inch pieces are is they're the part that makes it slide together and hold up. So the two inches are there to give it strength, keep it square. That's actually what makes the chair work as a chair. And slide it inside of my chair right there. You see it going in the slot right there. Right into place. Okay, now it's all set into place. You see it right there? You can sit down. And you're in the lap of luxury. This is your finished chair which needs to be sanded and rounded and get the corners all squared away. You can see I'm taking the camera all over the place because this is the final thing. Okay. So there you go. All done. After this, just make it look pretty.